what's happening people so I'm making another video because the news is fucking up the overall news is fucking up I heard on Twitter through Nintendo Life that 2k19 is thinking about not coming to the switch not one person is sad about this they're just not this isn't bad news. 2K screwed 2K18 so bad that if they decided they were going to continue going, their sales were going to hurt. They screwed it so bad. And it's not because the hardware. It had nothing to do with that. Games like Doom and Skyrim are running just fine. But 2K... 2K, you have no choice in whether or not you release games on the Switch. Nobody wants them. With as bad a job as you did on your first try, nobody wants them. Let's get that straight. Well, we're not going to bring 2K19 to the Switch. Oh, wait, we fucked up badly with 2k18 I wonder how everyone's gonna take it probably dancing in the street you know having a big celebration going thank god our Nintendo console isn't flooded with shitty 2k games that don't work more than likely that's the reaction you want to know how you offend people by putting 2K19 on the Switch and having the same stupid shit happen on that one. That's how. Saying you're not going to Switch is actually a good thing. Hell, I'm pretty sure majority of your fans don't care. And I'm pretty sure most Switch owners, myself included, couldn't be happier. I haven't liked one WWE 2K game ever. Let's make that perfectly clear. WWE used to be amazing. THQ did an amazing job for those games. 2K screwed it so bad. It, it's handling is for shit. In comparison to WWE, or excuse me, WWF Attitude, WWF In Your House, WWF uh, Smackdown. WWF, uh, SmackDown, Know Your Role, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. All those games, to me, are so much better than anything 2K ever put out. The handling isn't all over the place. You don't have to memorize 900 fucking buttons just to pull off a suplex. You can easily toss people in ropes. These games are so much better. And guess what? If Nintendo decided to do what I said in my like, couple videos back, and go in the uh, vault and reach in there and just be like, let's put this on the Switch. They could have an entire library of old wrestling games that are better than yours. Better than yours. In all honesty, I'm going to be completely honest with you, 2K. You should apologize for 2018. By putting 2019 out with guarantees that this game isn't going to be a repeat. That's what you should do. You should apologize for 2018 and how bad it is. And put 2019 out there at a discounted price with guarantees that it won't happen again. Otherwise, nobody's going to care. You're irrelevant. For Switch conversations, that is. When it comes to the Switch, 2K, you are irrelevant. You don't matter. Now that I got that out of the way, let's have another conversation. It's kind of segueing into gaming addiction now being classified as a mental health disorder. Oh my god. There is a small percentage, very small percentage of people who play a game and then that game takes over their entire life. Usually people are drastic, they are overcompensating, they are just trying to get more views, they're just trying to talk when they say a game is taking over their life. Because they're still able to function in day-to-day -day society. 
people on YouTube still able to put out videos, people who have a job still able to work that job. The links to what extreme this is talking about is such a rare case. Most of this shit is found in children who are plopped down in front of a TV while their parents are doing God knows what, and they have a controller in their hand. Because that's what they were brought to do is, hey, play a game. Hey, watch some TV. This isn't nothing new. Why you want to say it's a medical disorder is beyond me. Like I said, it's a very small percentage, very small percentage of people who have that drastic. And I do know someone who has that drastic. Where they just rather be playing a game from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to bed. Excuse me. Money doesn't matter. Social life doesn't matter. Love life doesn't matter. Um, you know, the only thing that matters to this person that I know is how to get the next game. How to stay on top of all the trendy games, how to have the best game collection. I know people like that. Myself, I love Xbox. I love the original OG, triple OG Xbox. Plenty of videos showing off my, uh, 150 plus games that I have. Okay, I love that system, but it is not going to block me. From having a social life, a love life, getting money, a job, none of that shit. Because it's just collecting. You know, people, yes, they take it to the extreme. But we do not need you going out saying it's a medical disorder. That habit is a, you know, it's a habit. And how extreme you take it is on you. Feel what I'm saying? Um... This is a hobby. Me doing this is a hobby. I don't do this for nothing. It's just a hobby. That's why I talk about what I talk about. Because if I'm forced to talk about something, then it's no longer fun. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, same thing with my movie collection. I do that for fun. You know, I gotta find ways to entertain myself. Just like everybody else. But, oh, because I have like two, three hundred movies... A lot of people like you have a problem. I prefer movies over television is the problem there, I guess. I don't know. Or the fact that I collect, you know, Xbox original games or or the 3DS or, you know, whatever. It's to what extent? What extent is it? And how extreme is that? You know what I mean? If I was going to say gaming could be a mental health disorder, believe me, you would have to be like the guy I was talking about earlier who wakes up, plays games, goes to the bathroom, eats, and plays games. That is extreme, okay? He's literally hurting his own life by not doing anything and having nothing outside of I want to beat the next level of this game, okay? But at the same time, he's also got other problems. It's not just playing a game. He's very antisocial. He's very um, closed up. So that would be different. You know, maybe it's not the game. But maybe the game is a way for this person to, you know, interact with people. I mean, I know that's something I know they probably either touched on or didn't think about. But a lot of people will shut themselves in. They shut themselves off from society and are, I forget the technical word here for it, but it's an actual sickness. Maybe that's their easiest way to reconnect with the world on some level, okay? You know, not everything is so cut and dry, black and white, really bad. You don't go video games or a mental disorder. A lot of people who play video games have a lot of stupid knowledge. Yes, I want to have a bunch of stupid fucking knowledge. But, I mean, they're not stupid. See what I'm saying? There's just too many angles for me to go, yes, you did a good enough job to declare this a medical disorder. Because there's so many factors. So, I felt like throwing that out there because I've been seeing an article, um, like I said, with the 2K thing. I saw the article with it. If you follow Nintendo Life on Twitter, I'm pretty sure you saw it too. Um, follow me on Twitter, you guys. If you don't, I'm going to try to link it down in the description below. If not, just Twitter, J2Death. I post random shit on there all the time. Um, I don't really fuck with Instagram, but I do have an Instagram. Um, probably should start fucking with that more, but I don't. Maybe I will now. Um, so follow me on, you know, follow me on the, uh, um, Twitters and follow me on the Instagrams, man. Hit the like button on the video, man. Subscribe if you're new. 
and I will talk to you guys next time. Deuces.